Okay, so today I want to talk about how I got my derby name, which is actually related to therapy. It all comes back around, but it's obviously a little different than uh, what I normally talk about on this channel. But I started playing roller derby in college um, during my master's program. One of the, the girls that I facilitated a group with was doing it and she invited me and it was something I always wanted to try and it ended up being amazing. Great stress relief for grad school. Um, and it was funny because there was a lot of people like in the social services there. So we would, you know, tend to people all day and then we would come and beat each other up at night. <laughs> but it was also like a really cool community and just a really nice um, a group of women that were coming together to support each other. I have a little a little kid knocking out, knocking and waving over there. Hi, you can come out if you want. Uh, anyway, so I, but I wanna talk about how I got my derby name. It was, that was something that was kind of hard for me to figure out and it's kind of something that you can decide on your own or you can sort of let the girls kind of help you with. And I kind of wanted it to be something that really fit for me and my personality and all of that. So I took some time to figure it out. I got a bunch of nicknames. Um, Maple was one, because I'm from Canada, and they gave me little stickers with Maple Leaf, so I have them on my, my hat and, and shorts. Um, and, but so, there was one time that we were in a, <coughs> sorry, I'm shooting outside yeah. again. Um, <laughs> there was one time that I was facilitating a women's support group with two other uh, facilitators, one of which was the girl who brought me into Derby and was kind of a mentor to me. And we had a really great group, but it was a really challenging group and we kind of challenged some of the women uh, pretty directly in the group. Uh, so after every group we kind of had a little talk about what went well and give, giving each other feedback and all of that just as facilitators. And the woman looked over at me and she said, you know, I really appreciate how you have such a velvet hammer. She said, you challenge people in a way that is direct, but soft and gentle so they accept it and they don't get defensive and they don't get angry, but it, they, it, they hear and get challenged in a way that they really need to. Uh, so she gave me that feedback and really great feedback. And then a second later, she looked over at me. We both looked at each other like at the same second. And she was like, that's your derby name. So my derby name is Velvet Hammer, and it originated in my uh, therapy group, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, and obviously being able to challenge people, but in a nice way. Are you gonna come say hi, Paige? Cause you're in the background of all my videos today. Come here, come here. <laughs> so I thought it was really cool because um, because it also sort of fits my personality. I think I am fairly uh, gentle and calm and fairly agreeable, but I also have sort of a, uh, she wants to say hello. This is Paige. <laughs> say hello. Or not. Um, but I also definitely have a, a competitive streak and a, and a kind of a, a fire as well. So it kind of summed up both of those things. And I liked also that I can be really nice and gentle and you know loving to all of the girls and and in the crowd and then go into a bout and and take care of business. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, so yeah, that is how I became the Velvet Hammer. And yeah, it's a little bit about me. A little more about me that you guys didn't know. Um, so that is it. Any questions, feel free to ask. I am not currently playing right now, but I would love to play again. Um, yeah. So I hope everyone has a great day.